full moon everybody and welcome back to our next uh, full moon virtual class with the city of Ottawa. My name is Dave Inder and I'm the owner and director of Pranashanti Yoga Centre and happy to be with you again to celebrate the full moon. And this full moon, get this, another lunar eclipse is happening. <laughs> so be ready, this year 2020 just keeps giving us more and more excitement. So we've got two more lunar eclipses to go through this year. And um, if you remember, if you were with us for the last class, uh, we also had a lunar eclipse. So it's a really exciting time astrologically, actually. So this lunar eclipse, you know, these are things that kind of highlight for us what's going on for us for relationships in particular. So whenever we see a lunar eclipse, you just know <laughs> you're going to be learning a little bit more about not only yourself, but most likely the people that you have close relationships with as well. So something to hold in the back of your mind as we go through uh, the time of this full moon. This is a full moon in Capricorn with the sun in Cancer. So we have a polarity of those two astrological signs happening. So Cancer tending to like to stay home and feel cozy and contained, whereas the sign of Capricorn is a little bit more outgoing, likes to be out moving around with people and engaging in different activities. So there's a pull, and haven't we been experiencing that pull actually all along for the last few months? So um, it's pulling in that, uh, that uh, play of opposites that we have with the full moon energy. And that's just something to watch for for yourself over the coming 10 days or so and see how that plays out for you, where you're drawn or where you pull back from. And just notice that for yourself as you're in this full moon energy. I thought we would do a, a short practice that um, it's really suitable for all ages, all levels, all abilities. It's a very open, easy practice in, uh, in a yoga sense. Uh, so it's something for everybody. And then we're going to finish off with a little meditation, which is all about the heart center and the heart space. So that will hopefully leave us feeling in a very open and calm and balanced place to be during this full moon. So please join me. Come sitting in a comfortable seated posture of your choice. I'm sitting in a posture called uh, easy pose which doesn't always feel that easy, but you can sit in any way that is comfortable for you, whether that's on a chair, sitting on the floor like I am, or sitting with your legs extended out too, that works just as well. And we'll bring the palms of our hands together at the center of our chest. This is called Anjali Mudra. And then we'll close our eyes for a few moments. And this will help us to center in to relax into our posture and prepare ourselves for our practice with this full moon energy that we're experiencing this month. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Lengthen up tall through your spine. Take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Your shoulders relax down. You know, maybe you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, something around the full moon, creating some balance between your internal world or your private life, the outside world or your career or professional life. Just take a moment to draw something in to focus on. We'll chant the sound of Om one time to signify the start of our practice. Take a couple of deep breaths before we chant together. So let's inhale deeply and then exhale fully. And then inhale to chant. Oh. And 
and relaxing your hands down and welcome, welcome to your practice. Let's start off by stretching our legs out to the front. Take a moment to shake out the legs a little bit to relax and to even circle your feet around the ankles a little bit so that keeping everything as relaxed as possible. We're going to start off with a front stretch, so keep the right leg extended, bend the left knee, tuck the left foot in. This is a static stretch, a forward fold. We'll draw the arms up, inhaling, exhaling, fold down. Inhale, come back up again. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, come on back up, reach up tall. Exhale, this time we're gonna stay down and hold on to our ankle or our leg. You can even put your hands on either side of your foot or leg. Take a few deep breaths here, sinking your body down. Soften through your face. And then on your next inhale, inhale very deeply. Exhale, lower down a tiny little bit further, a little deeper. And then bring your hands back up with you, inhaling all the way back up. And then exhale out to the side and down. Let's switch over to the other side. So stretch the left leg out now, tuck the right foot in. And we'll do the same thing. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, draw up. This time, reach up super tall. Exhale, fold out and down. And we're going to stay down again with a long, slow, deep breath. Again, options where you want to place your hands. Hold on to the foot. Let your body relax down. Feel a gentle stretch here. And taps into the hamstrings a little bit. All right, let's inhale deeply. And then exhale, lower down a little bit further. And then inhale, bring the arms back up and then exhale out to the side. Good. All right, we're gonna go back to the original position. So that was with the right leg extended and the left foot tucked in. This time we're gonna inhale, bring the arms up. We're gonna do something a little dif different. Reach out with your right hand to catch hold of your right toe or rest on the shin or even higher up, wherever you can reach. Left hand comes behind the back Bring the back of your hand against the lower part of your back. Draw the left shoulder back. Turn your head slightly as if you were trying to look over your left shoulder. And now here's a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, side bend over the right leg. Take some deep breaths. Adjust it as you need to. Looking slightly upwards. If we were outside, we might even be able to see the mood. A couple more full deep breaths. And then inhale fully, lengthen. Exhale a little bit more to the side. And on your next inhale, let go with the right hand. Bring both arms up with you. And then exhale out to the side and down. Other side, let's switch over. Left leg comes out, right foot tucks in. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So inhale, bring the arms up. Left hand to left foot or leg. Right hand behind the back. Lift the chest up a little bit. Draw the right shoulder back. Turn your head as if you were looking over the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, it's a little sideways, and then exhale, side bend. Turn your head so you're looking up towards the sky or ceiling. Take a 
few more deep breaths. And then inhale, deeply lengthen. Exhale, sink down a little bit. Releasing your hands, inhale, start to bring both arms back up. Reach up tall. Exhale, sweep out to the side. Good. All right, let's bring the left leg in, coming into a bound position, cobbler's pose. Draw the feet together. You can hold on to the toes, the tops of the feet, or the shins. Get a little butterfly movement here. Just open up through the hips a little bit. And then hold on, inhale deeply. Exhale, tip forward. Let your arms come out in front. Doesn't matter how far down you go. Take a few more deep breaths, a little hip opener. It's one of the main areas where we hold tightness, so it's always good to include some hip opening postures in your daily practice. Let's inhale deeply here, and then exhale, sink down just a little bit further, and then inhale, start to lift yourself back up. Slide the hands up to the knees, bring the knees up, extend the legs out, let the hips settle in for a moment. It's great. Come on onto your hands and knees now into table. I'm going to move into cat cow pose. So place your hands roughly underneath your shoulders, even go a little bit wider. Spread the hands wide. Knees are under the hips, and there's some space between the knees and the tops of your feet are on the floor. Inhale as you sway the belly down and lift the head up. That's the cow part. Exhale as you arch your spine and let the head hang down. Inhale, belly goes down, head goes up. Exhale, arch the spine. You go back and forth at your own pace. Create a smooth movement. Help open up the spine. Take your time with it. Last few repetitions. And then inhale deeply. So cow pose, belly down, head up, eyes open. Give your eyes a little stretch up. And then exhale, arch into cat. So really push the hands into the floor. Curve your spine up high. Pull the navel in. Hold the breath out. And then inhale, come to a flat back. Let's do child's pose. Sit back onto your heels. You can keep the arms out in front as you like. Bring your forehead down. You can also rest on your forearms. You can also bring your hands down by your ankles if that's good too. Take a few more long, slow, deep breaths. And then inhale deeply. Exhale. And then start to bring your hands closer in to your knees as you lift yourself back up. And we'll come up a little bit further forward to sit back into easy pose again. We've got a few more postures to go. This is a great little set that helps, just really gets the energy moving in the body and starts to warm us up, really preparing ourselves for the meditation at the very end. This is a posture called torso twists or sometimes washing machine or sometimes ice cream machine. I kind of like that one in the summer months, but you bring your fingers up onto your shoulders with the thumbs at the back and the elbows out wide. 
the inhale, twist to the left side, exhale, twist to the right side. So you smooth motion side to side. Inhale on the left, exhale on the right. Inhale, come to the center. Suspend the breath. Just pause for a moment to create stillness. And then exhale, bring your hands down onto your knees or to your legs. Sense into how you're feeling a little bit from that motion. And then from here, you can use your hands to stabilize start to roll your shoulders back in big circles. Loosen things up. This little practice, you know, started with the lower part of the body and we're working our way all the way up to the top with the flow of energy that our body has too. All right, let's circle a couple more times. And then inhale, bring the shoulders up, give it a little squeeze, and then exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Perfect. Keeping your eyes closed or with a soft gaze, gently lower your chin towards your chest. And we'll do some neck rolls, so taking the right ear over to the right side. Go gently around the back, left ear to left side, chin down across the front. Take your time. There's lots of time. Smooth again. Be mindful. Notice any tight areas. Let's go around a couple more times. Now let's reverse the direction, go back. It's a great way when you do postures to keep your balance is to do the posture in both directions or on each side. Create some more balanced feeling afterwards, after practice. Let's go around a few more times. And on your next one, inhale and bring your head back up to align with your spine. And then exhale. Stay in stillness for a moment before we come into our relaxation, into our Shavasana. Just close the eyes or soften your gaze. Take a few more full deep breaths. And we'll make our way into relaxation, into Shavasana. So stretch out your legs, come on down onto your space. We'll come lying down in what is known as corpse pose, which is kind of funny. So this is traditional corpse pose where you rest on your back with your arms out to the side, palms facing up. And usually the feet have about 18 or 20 inches or so between the heels. And then you let your feet fall out to the sides. Rock your head back and forth. Find a good spot for the head to rest. And close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here. You may like even like to inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Let it go. Just completely relax the body. 
completely relax your breath. Relax the elements of your body. We're all made of five different elements according to yogic understanding. Known as the tattvas, earth, water, fire, air, and ether or space that exists in all of us. You might want to just hold that symbolism in your mind as we come into our deep relaxation, relaxing the earth element of your body, feeling the body release and relax more down into the earth. Relaxing all the blood or the water in your body. Visualize that as a flow into the ocean. Relax all of the fiery element that we have within ourselves, like your digestion or your self-will. Relax that intensity into the heat or the fire of the sun. And also relax the air, your breath. Let it merge into the universal breath or air. Take another full deep exhale and even sigh it out to really emphasize that complete release from your body. And then also relax all of your space or your, the ether, the subtlety that you carry. Let that merge into a greater space and expansion. Slow the breath. Let your body drop into this space of deep, deep relaxation, healing. Relax into your own consciousness. Into your own true, true nature. Relax for a few more long, slow, deep breaths. Softening through the body, through the belly and chest. Any tension or tightness go. Now very slowly start to bring yourself back. Back into deeper breathing. Want to start stretching and moving your body in ways that feel right for you to move. Stretch the arms up overhead for a big stretch. Even bend your knees and do some knee down twists or stretches where you take one knee or both knees side to side. Any movement that feels good for you to bring yourself back from your relaxation. And you want to also tuck the knees in a little closer to your body, give them a little squeeze in. Rock a little side to side. 
then either roll over to one side or rock yourself back up to sitting. And let's find ourselves back up into a seated posture, again, of your choice. You could be sitting in a chair for this meditation. You could also be sitting on the floor again, like I am. Whatever works for you. And uh, you may even want to be sitting on a cushion or a bolster or something to be even more comfortable for our meditation. So this is a beautiful, beautiful little breath meditation, which I mentioned is for the heart, for the anahat, the heart chakra. And we're gonna be using a little mudra hand gesture that goes with this. And the mudra is where you bring the index, middle, ring finger, and thumbs together on both hands, but you leave the pinkies out. And uh, not that they're forgotten or anything, just that they're gonna stay separate because the pinkies are almost like a little antenna for communication. So we bring all the fingertips together except the pinky and let the hands rest on the back of the knees. Or you can bring them in a little closer. The main thing is we wanna make sure that we're not creating tension in the shoulders for holding the posture. Our eyes will be closed for the meditation or you can soften your gaze and look slightly downwards and we'll lengthen up the spine to sit nice and tall. So that's our, our posture with the mudra or hand gesture to activate the heart center and we'll be taking a deep breath in through the nose. Pause for just one or two seconds and then a slow exhale through the mouth. And deep breath in through the nose. Pause for one or two seconds. And then a slow exhale through the mouth. Continue at your own pace with the breath. And as you go with the meditation, See if you can create an awareness for yourself of the heart center, of the center of your chest where the heart chakra is, so that with every inhale, you're noticing that area with the rise of your chest with the breath. And with every exhale, you're also noticing it as the body moves with the breath. goal is to create some expansion at the heart center, some openness, some spaciousness. The mudra or the hand position is helping to activate meridians or chi or energy that moves through the arms to the heart. It's a very calming, centering, balancing breath. Continue with a few more full deep breaths. Holding yourself steady, focusing to the heart center, a place of compassion, last few deep breaths.
Now inhale very deeply through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let your fingers relax. Let the palms be open for a moment. Take a few more natural, slow, deep breaths. And then we'll bring the palms of our hands together at the center of our chest to close our practice today. Just like we did at the very beginning, bring the palms together. Push the hands together with a little firmness. Let the thumbs touch to the chest. Take a couple more deep, deep breaths to assess and notice how you feel. Drawing in the full moon energy, the energy of Capricorn balanced by the energy of the Cancer Sun. Create the sensation of balance within yourself. Balancing the outside world, with the personal, family life and inner world. Balancing how we move internally versus how we present ourselves externally. Creating an awareness within ourselves of how we see other people. Sometimes we can see people differently with the eclipse and the full moon. See what insights come forward for you during this time. And also know too that the lunar eclipse is a time for letting things go, a time of change. Embrace the changes. Stay in your balance. We'll close by chanting the sound of Om together one time. Inhale deeply. And exhale. And inhale to chant. Om. Namaste. Thank you for joining us for another full moon class. It's a great joy to share in this time together. And in gratitude to the City of Ottawa for arranging for these amazing classes together. And we can still keep it going even virtually. So soon to be back in person one day soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy and stay light and bright in this wonderful full moon.